So guys, this is going to be the test of the X15.3 boots that I got for Christmas and let's see how we go on. First off, I'm going to be testing the shooting of the boots, so let's go. So guys, this is the long range passing test and uh, let's see what my long range passing looks like. So guys, I'm going to give my opinions on what I think about the boots, and let's see what I think. So, the Adidas X15.3 were released back in 2015, and obviously these were the, net, that, um, the first generation of the X line. And personally, I really like these boots. Um, today, um, I really had a good recording session in these, they are quite comfortable. Now, shoelaces did come undone, but that's just normal. Um, so yeah, strike for striking the ball. These boots are really nice. Um, didn't hurt my feet at all, which is a good thing out of out of a football boot. I have naturally wide feet, um, and these boots aren't the widest, but they aren't the narrowest. But they do fit my feet quite well. Um, so yeah, they these are quite nice on my feet, and these I would definitely wear these in a match. But these are blades, not studs. Um, and it's bit, and obviously it's winter, so the mud is really muddy, and it won't go straight to the ground. So I'm gonna have to wear my aces for matches, and when um, the mud. But I will wear these de for definite matches um, because these are so nice. I bought these as like a second pair of boots, um, alongside the ace that I've, the aces that I've got. So guys, I was playing on Astro Turf, and. These boots are FGAG, which means firm ground, artificial ground. So I was allowed to, I was allowed to wear these, and those of shows just got on, on to the table. Brilliant. Anyway, um, these boots are really comfortable on, on, on a serious level. Um, I like the sole play with the mini studs here and all the blades as well. Um, one thing I prefer from the X15 to the X16 is the design of the boots. Like on the X16, they got rid of the chaos design. Which I really like. I really enjoy it. Um, personally, I think the X15s are better than the X16s, but I um, And I have got a pair of X16 indoors downstairs. I don't even play indoors. I, I just bought them for AstroTurf. And they didn't have them in AstroTurf, so I just bought them in indoors. 
and they still did the job. Anyway, this is about the X15, not the Ace X16. No, yeah. Now, when I'm not playing in goal, I'm, I'm a quiet attacking player, so I would like to play up front. And obviously, these boots are made for the Chaos Makers. And I like to think that I'm a Chaos Maker, like I can cause chaos onto the pitch, which is kind of cool. I like to control the game as well, which is a bit more like the Ace than the X, but the X are great for shooting and passing. Hitting the ball with the, the side of your foot really doesn't hurt because like it's not it's it's quite stiff the bottom so it doesn't really like hurt into your foot it doesn't rub into against your foot I really and um I know I've already said this but I really love the design of the X the solar yellow and core black edition and I know they had um last generation another generation old but um I really like these and um these are one of my favourite boots that I've ever had already. So um what I didn't what I didn't do with the Ace review is I'm going to give these a score out of 10. And I'm going to give these a 9. Um, because these are a brilliant boot. Um, and obviously there's the higher generation X16. Obviously there's the X15.2s and X15.1s. But the X15.3s are definitely worth the money. These are only £25 from the Adidas website. So it's a real bargain in my opinion. And these are really nice football boots. So I'd recommend them. If you're an attacking player. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace. So guys. After we did the X15 review. We decided to do some more shots. But Josh is shooting at me this time. So here's the um, rest of the video. And I didn't want to put it in another video. Because it was just too short. So I'm going to put it into this video. Hope you enjoy it. And let's see Josh's shots and my saves.